Well, we're here today, Tilgate Business Park, at OCS. Uh, who are OCS? I hear you ask. Well, OCS are the company that have just assisted Gatwick in becoming, or have been the, the, the driving force, along with Autism Support Crawley, uh, to, to make Gatwick autism-friendly, which is absolutely fantastic. Now, I'm joined today by Sam Berry, who's the Accessibility Manager here at OCS. Hi, Sam. How are you doing? I'm very good, thank you. Great. Now, tell us a little bit about... Um, how did you meet Maria, who obviously is the chair of Crawley Autism Sport? So Maria has been working very closely with a colleague from Gatwick Airport Limited for the last four or five years to improve the experience at the airport for uh, people with autism. We introduced the lanyard, um, which um, launched in May. So that's uh, an optional product that customers can use just to signify they've got a hidden disability as they're travelling through the airport. So they may or may not choose to use our services, but by wearing the lanyard, people at security will know that they need to have a bit of extra time to prepare, or they might need some help reading a sign. Um, so it's just, as I say, it's a hidden sign. Mm. After we launched the lanyard, um, Maria got in touch and said, I'd really love to come and work with you and make this experience better. This is a good step forward, but we can make it even better. So Maria and I met on the 1st of July this year and have worked hand in hand with a, this has been a great team effort. Um, Maria has been pushing me um, with supports from a lady by the name of Caroline Ems. And um, it's very nice of you to say that I'm the driving force, but actually the driving force is sitting in that chair there. Mm -hmm. And for anyone who's ever met Maria, they will know that she can be very insistent. Oh, we knew that already. We were just... <laughs> Just trying to play her down a little bit. No, she is amazing. Maria is amazing. We've we've worked with Maria now for how long has autism sport cruelly been going since it's been going? Um, now tell us a little bit more, Sam. Um, OCS. Some people may remember OCS and think, "Oh, isn't that?" I think I remember them as office cleaning services or, or something like that. You are a. a, a, a a subcontracted organisation that does many variety of different things for Gatwick. Offering services of assistance to passengers that go through the airport um, is obviously quite a, a, an important one for you at the moment. So OCS um, is a privately owned company and um, it's been owned by the same family, so we're now in the fifth generation of ownership by the Goodliffe family. Um, OCS works across a number of industries within the UK. Um, from pest control to facilities management, retail, security. It has an aviation and gateways division, of which um, the assistance product is part of that at the airport. Mm. We provide the service on behalf of Gatwick Airport Limited, um, but we also have um, an office cleaning business at that, that Gatwick, and we also provide um, aircraft cleaning and secure clean services at Gatwick. Wow. So we have fingers in many, many, talents, many yeah. pies, yes. Yeah. And you told us when we were speaking earlier that you've worked in the airports, uh, on, in the airlines industry for 30 years and you never really recognised the needs of others as much as pointed out by Maria and other organisations. Uh, having worked at an airport, I had no understanding of how disabling the airport environment is. Um, so therefore my, my insight into what types of assistance individuals might need was pretty limited. Um, so working with Maria and done lots of work with the Alzheimer Society, um, that's really increased my understanding um, of what we can do to help people and to give people confidence to use the airport. It's just awareness really, isn't it? Being aware, being uh, knowledgeable of, of somebody that's coming in with a disability and just making provisions to make them, their time more comfortable. Absolutely. And, you know, the team, the team have training. They don't need to be able to diagnose what condition somebody has. They just need to know the signs where somebody needs extra help. Mm. Well, now let's come to our Maria. Maria, how are you, darling? Are you well? Very well. Nice to see you again. Now, you have worked alongside Sam and Caroline and, and lots of other people, haven't you, in helping? You've opened toilets, disabled toilets. You've made disabled shopping trolley, trolleys. shopping trolleys. Yeah. And now you're sorting Gatwick out. How does that feel? <laughs> um, I am so excited um, to be working with 
this lady who is a champion, um, who admits that she knew nothing, but she is just so passionate. Um, her emotions, she's driven, she wants to make a difference. And it's it, it's finding people like that, and I feel lucky to have her in my life now um, because we work so well together, we've gelled. Um, she wants to make a difference, and that is what matters. Mm. You know, tapping into the right people who really do care and yeah. do want to make a difference and help us, help our families and, and all of those that have got hidden disabilities. Your son, Ryan, is autistic, uh, and quite severely so as well, uh, as far as the spectrum is concerned. You've come across many hurdles in the time you've had Ryan. This will make life so much easier, not just for Ryan, but for pretty much any person with any form of disability, with people like Sam making sure they're being looked after properly. That's quite, quite important, isn't it? It's, it's vital. I mean, it makes a difference between families going on holiday or not going on holiday. Mm. That's, that's how important it is. Um, I've had a lot of families come to us now saying, we want to know more about the assistance programme because we want to try and go on holiday. And they've never even attempted it before. Now there's a service out there that can help them and it's given them the confidence to actually give it a go. And how empowering is that? You know, mm. It's giving a family a basic human right to have a holiday. Yeah. Um, so I can't express enough how important and fantastic this is. It's, it's, a li it's life changing for families, it really is. And it's just so many simple little steps put together to make a big difference. It's brilliant. There have been many incidents um, over the last uh, years that have had uh, where a child has gone onto a plane and they have had what people would class as a tantrum but what they don't realize is that they were actually either autistic or Asperger's syndrome and they couldn't cope with being around so many people the noise and everything else that goes with it now they were actually removed from the plane now that now with the help of, of yourself and people like Sam and Caroline and the, everybody else that's taken part in this and helped out that won't happen again will it absolutely won't happen no, it's 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 raising that awareness promoting that understanding and and these lanyards are so key to that as well rather than having that great big arrow you know it's a very subtle marker mm. just to flag up to airport staff air crew everybody within that airport environment that this family this particular person because people with autism and other hidden disabilities want to travel by themselves as well if they are of, of have that capability and it just flags up to everyone there that yes they may need extra time to get through security extra time to process the information you know um, that the airport is is probably one of the most disabling environments you would ever come across because of the people the queuing the smells the the, the mm. noise levels the lighting um, it's, it is an autistic nightmare, to be perfectly honest. It's actually quite scary for any normal person going through an mm -hmm. airport. You, you feel a bit lost, you feel a little bit overwhelmed, you feel a little bit time restricted, you, oh, you feel a bit panicky. Am I going to miss my plane? Am I, am I I'm in the right place? Yeah. Am I at the right yeah, door? It just has a, a, it, an impact on Yeah, on, on it can everything. be very scary yeah. for anybody. Yeah. And, I wouldn't uh, like to imagine what it'd no. be like I mean, for an autistic have, child. Uh, you know, we have had some very traumatic times traveling because of Ryan's um, complex needs mm. um, but now with that understanding and awareness raising and the training that's going on we are seeing those doors being unlocked you know people are actually embracing it now they want to learn more they want to know and they want to help mm. um, and for us it's yeah it's brilliant and, and Ryan loves being at the airport now if you see an eight-year-old child running around semi-naked, you know it's Maria's child because he just has that thing. He just loves it, and we love him. But I would like to say thank you to Sam and Maria because at the end of the day, um, they're going to enrol now the, this uh, program, the assistance program, out to Glasgow, Birmingham, Manchester, Belfast, Leeds, Bradford, Bristol, and that's going to be put out and rolled to all of them. So that's going to be great. So anybody going to those airports that are associated with Gatwick? This is this is a small stepping stone which has so far proved invaluable. We haven't got it right for every single family that's used the lanyard so far, but it's a small step. This is a very long journey. We haven't got it 100% right yet, um, but you know, with Maria as Gatwick's autism ambassador. Um, I know she will keep us focused on making sure it's right.
I think that these two ladies are absolutely amazing in, in both what they do. And Maria constantly, constantly strives to find new and easier systems in, to put in place to help people that are either disabled or have a hidden um, disability such as autism and dementia. We were talking earlier that not everybody um, who's disabled will have a wheelchair there it isn't always that way and there are lots of people that you just could you just would not recognize that they were disabled and i do think these are absolutely fantastic idea um how brilliant is that it's very subtle and it's very gentle but very effective i'm sure so um if you're with a disability and you're desperate to go and visit a relative abroad give sam a call send an email to ocs here um, I'll put the email address on the write-up, send them an email, make sure you get in contact, talk to Sam privately, personally, whatever. She's always really quite receptive and very happy to talk to anybody with any problems and to help you out. Make sure that you have a very safe, calm and enjoyable journey. So that's absolutely brilliant. Thank you very much, Sam, Thank you. For, for talking to us today. We really appreciate it. Maria, always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. And uh, we would like to congratulate Gatwick for their initiative here. Just look forward to the rest of the airports uh, following on. Thank you very much.